Hello folks, my name is Michael Vandenberg, and I want to talk about marijuana rights today and give you a good example. And I like to use the movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, and I'm not going to recommend that movie because it's just so filthy and disgusting all throughout it, but the only thing I really liked about it was the ending where he tries to sell you, get somebody to sell you a pen. The key to selling a pen is not actually the pen. It is making that person need it, want the pen for something else. That's the real issue. You gotta make them believe that they gotta have that pen to achieve something else. So, how would you sell the wolf a pen? I think that you have to touch in what he really wants, what he really needs. I know this girl. She is so beautiful, so sexy. I mean, she's smart, funny, and she has this accent that will just drive you freaking crazy. And you know what? The greatest thing is she told me that she has this thing for you. And she asked me, well, if you see him, if you talk to him, Please ask him if he would call me. Would you please give him my phone number? Would you like her phone number? You got a pen? You don't have a pen? Would you like to use this one? I'll let you use it for a hundred dollars. No, it's not for sale. You can use it, though, for $100. Okay? The key to marijuana rights is, I mean, you're sitting there, and your family life has been destroyed. Your son, your daughter, maybe even your husband or your wife. If not both of you, you're in jail. Or you're sitting there in prison because of marijuana. Or even using it for medical reasons. You've been arrested, you're in prison. Or you're sitting there in jail. Your life, your finances has been destroyed. You believe this attorney that he'd get you out. Or you spend all your money trying, you're saving, your life saving, fighting these charges. When in reality, your rights were standing there in the books, the statutes that Congress already created. That is the key. You don't even know you really want them. You don't even really know you need them. But, just like this right here. Get out of there. Keys. My book and these rights are the key to your freedom, to your liberty, to our economic restoration of America. I mean, cannabis hemp can restore a lot of things. And these rights, that's what's crazy about them. I mean, read the rights, read the statutes. Congress created the right. I mean, it says there to be a legal user. They, they knew there would be an illegal user whenever they created the $100 tax in the beginning. Not only that, Congress knew or wanted to establish that there would be Cannabis, hemp, farming, manufacturing, all these activities because they're in the statutes. But what happened? The executive branch. I mean, judges. I mean, Department of Justice. All these judges. I mean, they went behind Congress, our representatives' backs, and they said, well, we these things may be in the statutes, but we're not going to issue any tax stamps. We're not going to let you have these rights that Congress created, that our representatives created for us. We're not going to let you have these. Yeah, we, we have the right, even the Supreme Court support that. We, yeah, we have a right, the government has a right to tax these activities, but we're not going to let you have that right to do it. We're not going to issue a stamp. We're not going to let you pay your taxes. We're not going to let you have any of these defined rights by Congress. But what the executive branch, the DEA, Department of Justice, 
I mean, all these judges around the country, what they do not understand is if they would have read them, they could have seen clearly that Congress made these rights permanent and anybody has a right to claim these rights and enforce them. That is the key. That's why it's important for you to see and understand and want. This is the key that will unlock your freedom. This is a key that will unlock liberty for America. On so many issues, this will set America free. Income taxes, corporate income taxes, marijuana, drugs. I mean, our money should not be spent on in pri sending people to prison. It's such a waste. You're violating people's rights. If you want to do something, spend the money on putting people where they can get off drugs to reform them. Rehab them. That is where you should be focusing on, not locking people up in jail for a couple of years or whatever, 10 years, however long. That is why it is so important to know these rights, but you got to know that you need them. And that's why I'm trying to sell you today that you need these. Like that pen. Like the pen. You have to want it. You have to have a reason to need it. And your liberty and your freedom, your property, that is your reason. Thank you.